Hey guys, this is Steven, the Rope Collector. Just wanted to do a short little video on my first tarantula. Look at this guy. It is a Gramostola rosea Chilean rose hair. But it is a red color morph. As you can see, it's got a lot of orange and reddish browns instead of just the uh, dark brown and gray. You know, it was the same price as the rosies that they had there, so I figured might as well, you know, for my first spider, I've always liked the color red, might as well just get a red morph, so he's just awesome. So hairy and stuff too, I just get a kick out of it. Um, he's, I'm not sure how old he is, he's, not, he's a, you know, He's not very big. I've seen Rosies get big, but I know he's a male, so he'll probably age faster and die sooner than a female. I know that the, their lifespans are a lot shorter, so. But, uh, you know, I saw him, couldn't resist. He's just awesome. He's not aggressive at all. He, uh, first night I got him, I stuck a paintbrush in there and he attacked it. I think it was just because he was hungry. Fed him and since then he's been perfectly fine. You see, you know, he's been chilling on my hand here for like the past hour just hanging out. It's just got some great colors. I love it. No aggression since, no kicking of the hairs, no threat poses. Nothing. He just hangs out. Like a pet rock. <clears throat> like a pet rock, you know. I guess that's what they call them, pet rocks. But he seems to like his enclosure too. Uh, nice little 20 gallon. Plastic cup with dirt in it for a hide. He's got a small little water dish. A lot of room. I know he really doesn't need it. What I'll probably do is uh, take my... 16 Arizona bark scorpions I have and actually put them in here instead and put him in the five gallon aquarium that the scorpions are in so that way the scorpions have more room and he might feel a little bit better being in a smaller aquarium because I know they really don't need much room this is kind of overkill for him so I don't know just debating see what I see what I decide to do but as you can see, you know, I put the cork bark in here from his uh, original enclosure at the reptile store. He's already started webbing up the den a little bit here. So, yeah, I think he likes it. It's pretty neat. Can't get enough of this guy. I know the abdomen's a little small compared to his carapace. I know it's supposed to be bigger. Um, it was smaller when I first got him. I think it was just because he hadn't really eaten. So I'm hoping that's what the case is. He ate, not last night, but the night before. So maybe tonight I'll try and give him a cricket. See if he eats it. If not, I'll take it out. But I know it could also be a sign of aging too. A bigger carapace. I mean, a, a bigger abdomen. I know as they get older, it gets smaller. So... Hopefully he's not too old on me. I don't think so. It came from a personal breeder. So I would assume it's still pretty young. I think it would just, you know, they didn't feed it quite so often over there. I'm going to probably feed it once a week. But just for the next week or two, I'll probably try and feed it every two to three days just to, you know, get it nice and plump and let it know that it's perfectly safe. You know, that it's got plenty of food. But yeah, love it. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little view of it. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know if anyone else have, have any of these cool red color morphs. I mean, I know they're not special. They come out of the same sacks as just the normal rosies. So, I just thought it was awesome, though. Had to get it. So, alright. Thanks.